Hey, what's up, all you people out there everywhere in the stratosphere, the comic book universe? We're back with some comic book talk. I got another guest here. It's Troy Parker. He was on the show a couple weeks ago. We were talking about MCU and Endgame, and we can't stop talking about it because I got him back on the show. We're doing a quick little episode real quick, basically just some theories about how Endgame is going to end. Nice little tongue twister there. But um, yeah, we're just going to basically be talking about the snap. How can they reverse the snap? Getting the Infinity Stones, stuff like that. So now let's get into some theory shit, man, real quick. What do you got for me? All right, bro. So here's, here's, this is, oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is, okay. So we've already talked about Cap staying back. I love my theories. Yeah. Which is good. I've expanded upon that, which is your theory. A hundred percent all you. Mm-hmm. Um, so Cap's going to stay back. He's going to pass it off to Bucky, you know, the shield, but check this shit out at the, the end trailer for end game. It's going to be, uh, you know, there's someone's going to be dead. Tony, I think Tony's, I think Tony Stark's going to die. Wait, you um, mean post credit scene? Yeah, the post credit scene. They're okay. gonna be like bumming around, whatever. They're obviously gonna they're obviously gonna be victorious, but not to but to what scale is to be determined. However, mm-hmm. in the in the in the in, in the the post credit scene, it's gonna be an older Cap coming up and like putting his hand on their shoulder, congr- reuniting with him basically after he's been the old Cap for eighty some odd years. Mm. But now, granted, he's going to be just a slightly, just a little bit older because Cap doesn't age very well, you know, because of the super soldier serum. Right. But he's going to, it's going to be like a, they're going to have like a mini reunion at the end where he's like, where it's going to seem like, it's going to seem like minutes to them, but it'll yeah. be like, it'll be like a lifetime to Cap. Interesting. You know, I like where, shit? I like where your head's at. Yeah. That'd be a fucking trip. Be like, whoa, 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 there's fucking, oh, there's fucking Cap, whoa. And then. Shit, man. Maybe when they're you know they're bringing in like the uh, with Namor down the line and strange shit. Maybe Cap could be part of the Illuminati down the line. Who knows? But probably not. Anyway, I digress. No, I mean, hey, that that's 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 a solid theory, dude. I mean, it could match up because I don't nah, think he I, scratch I, the scratch the Illuminati part. Cap wouldn't do that shit. He's gonna retire. But I think it'd just be it'd be like a it'd be like a whoa, he's there. He is. You know, it'd be like kind of like a wow moment. Yeah, yeah. In a way, like um. Like you said, it'd be a lifetime for him and just minutes for them. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, because everything's going to change, you know? Yeah, yeah. Especially depending on what they do in the, in the past, you know? Because that's kind of what leads me to believe, like, it, it all hinges on the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer because that takes place after Endgame. And I think I've told you this before. I don't know. It's one of the many people that I've talked to. I kind of lose track of who I tell what sometimes. But um, if you look at the Spider-Man trailer, everything looks fine, dude. You know, everything looks fine. Happy-go-lucky, normal environment. Nick Fury's back. Peter's back. Everybody's back. They No mention of if they dusted and came back and still knew about it, there's no way they'd be this happy. So that's why I think they go back in time and stop just before it ever happens, like Days of Future Past. Um, that way there's like no – not Peter has no clue that he was dusted. You know, it's it's like it, it, it never happened. Yep. You know, so um, – But of course, but of course Cap would know. Yeah, Cap would know. Even if he stayed back, so I mean that's that's the that's the neat part. There's only gonna be like a handful of people that that even know this that this went down, and yeah, of course Tony, some of the, some of the celestials will probably know. I mean, obviously, but yeah, Tony's one of them. And there's rumors going around that they're gonna have their own gauntlet in this movie. So it's like even if you do get your own gauntlet made, and you go back in time, what if that's that's what I went that's what I was talking about earlier. Was like, how are you going to say you go back in time to the Battle of New York? from the first Avengers movie, which there were set photos of Ant-Man and Tony in the set for the first Avengers movie in the, during the battle in New York. So it's like, clearly something happens. They go back to that battle, I guess to get the, the Tesseract, which is there or the, the mind stone, which was in Loki's scepter at the time. So even if that's the case, man, say you grab the scepter or the time or the space stone, you're immediately changing the events of the future. So how do they get away with that? Unless, Ooh, ooh, no, ha- that wouldn't work. Well, no, unless I don't, I don't unless, work. unless Tony's already dead, and then they go back and you see him from before. That's what I'm saying. It's like, well, then how are they going to get the stones before Thanos does without effect? I guess they're going to have to affect the future somehow. So I don't know, dude. It could be this: as they go back in time, right, and they get and they get the first stone, it, it, we see it vanish from Thanos's gauntlet. He's right. like, what the fuck? Then he right. realizes something's up, and that's when he's like, then he realizes, okay, they're about to undo all I've all I've done, 
And then that's where the, the, these little battles will start to take place. Maybe that'll be like he's he's all chilling, you know, in his garden. He's got the scarecrow suit up, you know, doing his whole like gladiator walking through the fucking wheat with his hands. Oh, you know, the music's mm-hmm. playing. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he looks down and one of the, you know, one of the gaunt- one of the gems just kind of fades out of existence from the gauntlet. So, yeah, I mean, I guess either way, at the end of the day, if they go back in time, they're going to have to rewrite something then. I don't, I don't, yeah, you you can't have multiple of the same stone. So there could be, they could have two gauntlets though. I mean, one gauntlet, you know, it's just a matter of like them slowly getting the other stones before, you know, Yeah, that that makes more sense to me than, than like, than having, oh, there's two infinity gauntlets with full sets of stones. That doesn't make sense to me. That would piss me off actually. Well, how how let's think about this real quick. And I and I know we're kind of dragging on, but what? Uh, okay, what stones would affect the future? Like, okay, say they'll go back and get the soul. Their own. Say they go back before Thanos does and gets the soul stone. They have to sacrifice something, but it really wouldn't change the future that much because no. Thanos. Thanos need, just got the soul stone. They need like the time stone or the reality stone, because um, I think reality and time kind of go hand in hand in some regard. Actually, you know what they could do? They, couldn't they just go back and just get the time stone and that's it? And then just reverse time and before the snap happens? Um, only if they had Doctor Strange still, I think. I don't think they have the, Fuck, the capacity right. yeah. to handle that. Unless, uh, of unless, course, that's why yeah. he got killed off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Say they go back and get the... Uh, okay, let, let's, let's ballpark this. The only one I'm really worried about is if they go back... No, that would work. Because we've talked about this before. Like, the Power Stone. They go maybe they go back to the the battle of Xandar right before he showed up and get it before he gets it because that really wouldn't affect anything, right? Yeah, that really wouldn't affect anything. The only thing it would really undo is Thanos showing up on Thor's ship. Like say they go back to the battle of New York and get the Tesseract, or they get uh, Loki's Mind Stone, but then Vision wouldn't be created, or maybe they make their own Vision with the Mind Stone. Maybe there is a way they can go back and get all the stones without totally fucking up everything. Because the reality stone, that's been at the collector's warehouse for all these years. So if they go back and get that before Thanos shows up, then it really won't affect anything. So maybe I was overthinking it. Maybe it won't really affect much of the future. So maybe that's what they do. Could be. And I mean, and, and Thor knows exactly where the stone is. All the other stones are kind of like, yeah, you know, and either here or there. And plus, they know where the stone is on Xandar, obviously. Yeah. But... Rocket, yeah, that's probably where Rocket comes in. Like, oh, yeah, we got to go to Xandar yeah. right before Thanos shows up because we got to get the Power Stone before he does. Yeah. So that's why I think they go back to the Battle of New York from the first Avengers movie because the Space Stone and the Mind Stone are both right there. The Space hmm. Stone's right at the portal on Stark Tower, and the Mind Stone is in the Scepter where Loki was right there. So maybe they try to go kill two birds with one stone and get both of them. And, and why, they, would, why would they give Loki the, time, or the Mind Stone anyway? And I, I, that escapes me, but... I guess. What do you mean? Well, I mean, way back in the day, whenever they gave him the scepter to go get the the, the tesseract. Oh, you know, well, they, gave, like, they gave it to him so he could control people and help him get the space stone because he was going to bring both of them back to Thanos. I know it's just. Yeah. Well, they said that the Russos came out and said that allegedly Loki was under the influence of the Mind Stone the whole movie. Now, sure, like he wasn't. I think we've talked about this before. Like he wasn't purely evil. He was. It was all. He was hypnotized basically the whole movie. I know, which is which is weak. I mean, Thanos should have gone yeah. and just got it in damn self. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I know. He he he's the one that brought the shit on himself. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, eh, what stone I don't. am I? What stone am I missing? The time they can, stone. They can make more movies this way. I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. So if they go back and get the if they, if they go back and get the Mind Stone, that'll yeah. stop Vision from ever getting created, and probably Scarlet Witch, because she got experimented on. So maybe congratulations, congratulations on getting the name right. By the way. Yeah, right. <laughs> or no, maybe uh, maybe they'll go back to the Battle of New York to get the Tesseract there. Maybe they get the Mind Stone at a different point in time. After Scarlet Witch has been experimented on, but before Vision gets created. I, dude, we could, we could talk about this shit all day. I know. It's, I don't. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing, dude. I'm not, like I said, you've heard me say it before, I, I hate time travel fucking movies, man. But I, I think that's the only way they can do this, though. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I think that's the only way they could pull us off, man. But like I said, you know, the more I think about it, going back and getting all the stones before he does, yeah, I think there's points. Po- I think there's points and times they can go to, to where it really, really won't affect anything that we've built up already. 
Yep, the so. Reality Stone being the first one. Yeah. Yeah, because they can go get that from the collector, and that won't affect shit in the future yeah. movies. So. Yeah, Th- Thor just rolls up in there. He's like, hey, I need this stone back. You know, and he's like, oh, does this weird little thing with his hands. <laughs> you know, and he gives, he gives it back, you know. <laughs> and th- and then and that that changes that that changes the whole timeline of the reality stone. In which case, it'll fade out of existence from Thanos's gauntlet. Yeah. And then he's gonna then he's gonna be like, what the fuck? And he's like, you know, he's gonna. Yeah. It'll it'll re it'll recharge him to to keep what he's done, keep it to keep it done, if you will. Right. Right. But I mean, Good who point, else? Man. Who else? Who else out of out of all the remaining heroes? Who else has the the, the power? Other than Thor and uh, Captain Marvel, obviously that that could that could wield the the Infinity Gauntlet without losing it. Mm-hmm. Would Hulk? I'd say probably Nebula, Tony. Nebula, you think Nebula could wield it without losing her fucking shit? Because not anybody can just put it on, you know. That's a good point, man. Dude, you got six stones there, brother. Maybe they maybe they do it all together somehow. Oh, you know, I, like hope, the, the I hope not. Did. That was gay. <laughs> and I'm not I, against I, I, I'm not, and I'm not against homosexuals it. or gay. Well, one thing I love, <laughs> God damn it. One thing I loved about that scene was when Rocket's tiny little hand is reaching up to touch Drax during that sequence. It's funny. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Uh yeah, that's a good question though, man. Who would hold the guy? Here's what I'm gonna do. But I mean, okay, well then, so I mean, what else could you do? I mean, god damn it, because I mean, if, if you go back in time, and you, I mean, technically... I think that's what happens. I think they go back in time, they take the stones, he notices, he sees the stones disappear, he fucking books it to Earth, starts to raise hell, like, what the fuck's going on? They're going to erase everything I've done. Um, that, dude, I would grab the stones and I'd go to Asgard and say, Odin, this is what's happening, bro. <laughs> and like... Let Odin deal with that shit with some stones in his hand. It'd be done. Yeah. Well, see, my whole thing is if they're if they're going to go back in time to get the stones before, without trying to affect the future, why would they go so far back to the first Avengers movie? Because there was a lot of set photos of them. If you Google the set photos of Avengers Endgame Battle in New York, it shows Ant Man. It shows Tony looking nowadays with grayish hair, blackish hair, but it shows Cap and Thor in their costumes from the first movie so it's like why would they go that far back to get the space stone they could just fucking go to um whatchamacallit they can go to the fucking asgard ship like right before thanos gets it and just take it there i mean why would they go so far back? i don't i don't get that and they're saying like they might revisit times in uh, age of ultron it's like well why the fuck would they go back that far maybe that's what i said maybe to get the mind stone uh before Vision is created, but after Scarlet Witch becomes who she is from the stone, and then maybe they get the stone and then just make their own Vision. Yeah, I mean, they, they could do that. I mean, they, they definitely don't want to take anyone, as far as the heroes, as far as their team, out of existence. Yeah, yeah. So... Or maybe they don't go back and get the Mind Stone at all. Maybe they don't. Because like I said, if they go back and get all the stones... It's tricky, man, because you, 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 you fuck up the timeline for so much stuff, so they're... It's going to be interesting how they work it out. What's what's the proposed runtime? Almost three hours? Like 180 minutes, like three hours. Sweet. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Love it. I mean, I hope it stays at three hours. Well, they said the you saw that Instagram post of last week, right? They said the picture's locked. Man. They didn't say the time, though. It's like, you better fucking be three hours, dude. Come on, April 26th. Jesus. Was that you that we were talking about? Uh about the screenings, they said they did test screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. one person walked out, yep. dude. Yep. So if they if they had mean- cut anything out by that point, this was like a month ago, then I'm pretty sure it's safe to say it's it's three hours still. Because hmm. that was pretty late in the game. And if it was still at three hours then, it's probably still at three hours now. God damn, dude. I'm so excited about this. Oh, I know. I know. But here's another thing. It's like in order to undo the snap from ever happening... They could just go back and get one stone, right? And then that's it. That's all they need to do. Uh, that's true. Then, then it's just getting one stone, and then the rest would be just a fight. It would be a battle. Maybe. So now that they know what to expect, but now, but they're still missing a lot of fucking people. So shit, yeah, man. See, it's like every time you try to think of something, there's 
something that hinders that from not being possible. And it's like, that's what leads me to believe. Like I truly, I truly look, I pride myself on knowing the MCU and embracing myself in this universe, but I truly have no fucking clue what they're doing in this movie. And I love it. I love so, it. So if, if they, if, so if they get one stone, right, it disappears from the gauntlet. Does right. That mean, does, does that mean the snap never happened and everyone comes back into existence? That's what I'm. I, that's what I'm saying. I like, I, I think that'd be, it'd be too. It, it, that'd be too anticlimactic for the storyline. Yeah, so because they, it's, they it's say they be go back in time. Else. Say they go back in time, get one of the stones, then they come back to the future, and then oh wait, hey, Doctor Strange is back, Spider Man's back, they're all here. Like, there's gonna it. be there's gonna be a consequence. They have to get all the stones. Someone has to put the fucking gauntlet on, and someone has to unsnap what has happened but the cost of that unsnapping will take that person's life maybe they do do the unsnap then instead of preventing it from ever happening and whoever it's going to be like tony stark doing the unsnap or cap it'll be one of those two guys making that sacrifice for the greater good maybe it's cap dude maybe he does die and they'll be fucking dead maybe he puts on the fully assembled new gauntlet and uh snaps his fingers because it's like, because the soul gym, maybe, because if everyone's trapped in the soul gym, right? It takes the, you have to sacrifice someone you love or something you love, blah, 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 blah. Maybe they tie that in somehow to fully release everybody's souls from the soul gym, supposedly if they're in there. And maybe you have to, you have to, you have to sacrifice something you love or something that everybody loves has to be sacrificed or something. Someone's going to have to sacrifice themselves to, to release everybody else. Yeah. And that would be, that would be a pretty powerful scene, actually, I think. That would, man. That would. Because then you got everybody talking like, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. And then some people are like, well, if you even put the fucking glove on, you, you'll die before you can even unsnap. You know, I mean, who knows? It's going to it's going to take a yeah, it's going to take somebody with some beef, dude. I don't know. I, th- I think you're right there, because I think, like you said, I think it is anticlimactic. If they go back in time, just get one of the stones, come back to the future, and then poof, snap never happened. Uh, there, everybody's back now. Yeah, dude, people are going to be pissed off about that. They'll be like, what? Yeah. People, are, people are still so emotionally affected and invested in Infinity War and how it ended. You, that would, dude, they'd be missing out on a huge opportunity to, to to capitalize on that momentum. And no, dude, they're not gonna. No, they're not gonna take the easy way out. So, so what do they do then? Do they just like snap the fingers that takes it back to a certain point in time before the snap, or or what? I think they're gonna have to get all the stones. And so they're going to go back in time and get one of the stones and that's going to alert him that, 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 you know, that, that there's definitely some mischief going on because one of the stones just disappeared, but he, he's, but he's so in tune with the stones. He's, he's more in tune with the stones than anybody ever has been. He has all six. Mm-hmm. He's going to know instantly what the fuck's happening because he's, he's omnipotent, man. He's going to know exactly what is happening. He's going to portal he's going to portal right to it because he knows the locations of the stones from the other stones. He's going to mm-hmm. portal right. He's going to portal right to that motherfucker. Yep. It's gonna be it's gonna be on. It's gonna be a fucking brutal fucking long ass fight. Um, they're gonna slowly have. Then they're gonna it's they're gonna have to beat his ass to get the gauntlet off of him. And th- but it's gonna be it's gonna be less one stone. That's what I think is gonna happen. Maybe two stones, but I mean it's I I can't see him running. He's gonna one when one stone's gone. He's gonna go in full on bull mode and just gonna go. He's got to get that fucking stone back. So I, I don't see how they can stretch that scene or that or that situation out into so many. That's why I don't think if, if, if the Russos are only showing the first, you know, the, the trailer from the first 25 minutes or so. Th- what I'm talking about is going to be in the last act, you know. So, I mean. Yeah, it it's got to be there's got to be some other battles going on. There's got to be some other conflicts. There's got to be some other maybe, like I said, some other entities involved that are trying to right this wrong and or capitalize on the fact that the universe is so weak. You know, that they go around trying to pillage and shit. You know, who knows? Now, how... So, here's an interesting scenario. I feel like this could be too easy. Like, this could be the easy way out. Couldn't they just kill Thanos, chop his head off, and just take the gauntlet and go back and reverse it? That's too easy, right? Well, yeah, but how are you going to get to him? He's got... Dude, he's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it could happen. I think, I think Nebula might know where he is. Oh yeah, she knows where he is for sure. She knew right off the bat he did it. So she, she, all those years, you know, he had to have let Slipper say like after he did what he did, where he would go. She's probably she probably knows he's on Titan too. So she, she knows exactly where he is, dude. So that's what I'm saying. Like, does she does she go there? Do the Avengers go there? Does she lead them there? Maybe, 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 maybe that 
Maybe that's you. their plan. Maybe they go to Titan 2 to kill him, but he beats the shit out of them. Then they come back to Earth and regroup. Do the quantum thing. And then they do the quantum shit because they're like, yeah, we can't beat this guy. But then again, it's like, well, Captain Marvel's supposed to be there. You're telling me she can't beat him either? Dude, he's got six Infinity Gems. He's got the full gauntlet. I mean, I don't care who you are. That's supposed to be the most. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I could see that happening. They they go to Titan 2. They find him. They go to him and try to kill him. Maybe he overpowers him. Then they come back and they're like, we can't do this. We have to find another way. And then that's. <clears throat> that's but why? Probably. But why wouldn't he? Maybe, well, maybe he does kill somebody. And maybe they just run off. And he's like, and he's just and he's just done with it. You know, maybe I because mean, I, I, he, he does have that kind of I think he likes to play a little bit of the cat and mouse game a little bit. So maybe like maybe they do. Maybe they go to Titan too. They 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 fucking bum rush him. He ends up killing somebody, some major people, maybe. And then they all they're like, OK, we need to regroup. And they fucking bolt. They escape. I got it. I got it. You know what would make them do that is if they go to kill him, he whips the shit out of them, maybe kill somebody. He destroys the gauntlet somehow. To ensure that they can never undo what he did. Ooh. Then they go back to Earth and decide, like, okay, well, we, we, the only way to do it is if we if we go back in time, something like that. Interesting. Because he huh. was dead. He was dead set on that. He accomplished his mission, so he's got no reason to not. Maybe maybe that's what he does. He rubs it in their faces by somehow destroying the gauntlet, or I, I don't know. Yeah, Can't but then they, the stones. But, but then they would kill him. Then he'd he'd be he'd be powerless. Well, not powerless, but. That's what I'm saying, man. See, see, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like every time you think of something, there's always something that counteracts it. So I don't know, man. I think it makes sense that okay, now who who would who which key which key hero was missing from that the grocery store shot with the, with the quantum <laughs> with, with the quantum suits? Uh, which, which Thor's key not was, there. Cap Captain Marvel's not there. Hulk's not there. Hulk's Rocket's not there. Not there. Hulk Hulk's probably there. He's probably edited out. I'm willing to bet money Hulk is in that shot. They just didn't show him in the trailer. Uh, maybe one of those guys died in the first. In, in, in your, in your, and they're not killing. They're, they're not killing theory. off Captain Marvel or Thor, dude. No, Rocket. What about Rocket? <sighs> I don't think he's that. It would I mean, piss people off. It would piss the fans off. They would. They would be even more invested. Not only they, that, dude. That. I don't think he's. I think in the Avengers' eyes, he's kind of expendable. I mean, he's he's a little guy, you know. Uh. Yeah, he's just a dude with a gun. Yeah, he, I think it would have to be someone. And he bigger. can make shit. He can make shit. He's a gadget guy. <clears throat> I don't know. That's a good point. Who else is still alive that, that could have gone to have you know the, to to add some drama to that? To add some shit. Everybody else was in the group shot. Though I think Thor and Captain Marvel were the only ones that weren't there, unless they're there too and they were just edited out as well. I don't know. But th- okay, but think about them. Thor and Captain Marvel, they can go wherever the fuck they want. Yeah. So so they're probably on a different mission. Maybe they're keeping Thanos busy d- or distracted while these guys go back in the quantum realm. This is like after he's probably whipped all their asses? Yeah. If they go to- okay, I could see that. I could see that. You know? Maybe they take another fight to him. Yeah. While they're doing the quantum realm shit. Maybe they gather other heroes that were not introduced yet dude why can't it not be april 26 already (laughs) man like it's tricky dude it's tricky that's what i love though man because it's it's kind of like last jedi the entire time last jedi was building up we had no clue what was going to happen in that movie and there were so many theories and speculations but i highly doubt this is going to be a last jedi situation where it just completely goes left and that's that's a whole other story but the point is like all of the build-up and the hype and the the speculating like i like in game, dude. I just, I just don't know. I don't know. I have all these different scenarios I could see. I'm not going to be pissed off if what I believe happened doesn't come true because I know that it's going to be a good story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm just, I don't know, man. It's just, it's really hard to wrap your brain around it, it when is. you try to figure out like what's going on and what could happen. But I think that seems pretty plausible. What we were talking about. So I don't know, man. I don't know. So we'll see. But we yeah. See. Well. All right. That's going to do it, man. Cool, Appreciate dude. you coming on the show, bro. That was oh, this yeah, has been man. really fun to talk about all this shit. Like it's yeah, just it, it was been enlightening, man, because we've had some good ideas. We've had some good some interesting thoughts. I think we've made a lot of headway on here. We 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 we've, we've made some ground here. We some pretty solid theories, dude. Like I could really see all of that happening what we talked about. Yep. Yep. 
especially the taking the fight to him, him whipping their ass, coming back and regrouping, and then going to the quantum realm. Because that explains why so much time has passed. Maybe it took them a long... Dude, see? So they come back to Earth. A lot of time has passed, and in that time, Ant-Man shows up. Hey, introduces them to the quantum realm, and then that's when they get tipped off. Like, wait, we could do something. With- Ooh, yep. interesting. Interesting. Ooh, this is going to be fun, dude. This is going to be a fun month <laughs> of speculation, bro. But yeah, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it, dude. We'll definitely do this again, uh, especially if there's another trailer and another comic thing. If you got anything else to add, man, nope, let them know. It was fun. It was fun, son. It was fun. But uh, hey, for all future stuff, just get your uh, get your Scarlet Witch and your Scarlet Johansson things all <laughs> fixed for me, if you would. It's a little I, distracting. I'm gonna work on that, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna train very hard. Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow. It, you know, it's. Do you, you remember that one scene in Civil War? I think it's the opening scene when they're in Lagos looking for crossbones, and Scarlet Witch and Black Widow are both red hair, both wearing yeah. ball caps. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about confusing. That's probably what it stemmed from. I got him really confused. Civil War, man. Love that movie. But, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, this has been another episode of the Comic Book Weekly Podcast. We will catch you all next week.